Greetings. Good morning. We transform around here. Wake up. You might be looking like this. If you see my video, the uglier the better, then it's not a big deal and you understand the process. But this video is about things to think about if you want to start wearing weaves and wigs and extensions and etc. And living this grand old life and just... I'm up. I took my shower and then brushed my teeth. I'm going to take the shower cap off. You do need a shower cap if you're going to wear extensions, weaves, etc. Wigs and all that. You are going to need a shower cap because you got to kind of protect however you have it attached. So, that's something you're going to have to think about. Forever 21 has some kit ones. That's where I got mine. I do my makeup next. And I'm more of the makeup than the hair. So, that's why I already like my hair to be in place. So, that's something to think about too. If you like to spend more time on your hair or if you like to spend more time on your makeup. If you like to spend more time on your hair, then you could possibly not sleep with your wig on. But if you don't, then it's easier to already have that bitch in place. Back from the shower and cleaning my face and brushing my teeth and doing all that good stuff. I did pick up a new crystal and I just finished cleansing it. It's in salt. You kind of cleanse them in salt for three days. And uh, let's go ahead. Isn't that precious? Isn't that cute? So I'm finna have it out while I do my makeup. So that's a little something we should, we share it together. I'm trying this new lip plumper, and it's actually pretty good. Like I'm doing, I do skincare Saturdays on my Insta stories and Snapchat. I think I've already said that, but I'm saying it again because it's called a shameless plug. And so I already scrubbed them. The lip scrub is not my favorite. It's too fucking gentle. It's like... It's like a virgin. You're like, can you give it to me? <laughs> Jesus. So. But the plumper, it gives it to you. It's like... The things that you have to think about... Before you get into the wig thing, the wig game, first you kind of have to know how to be able to read the display card. You know, kind of like pick the wig out. Wigs come, hair comes in different colors, of course, and they're like kind of numbered. So you got one, one B, two, four, and they kind of like, it's even changing now though, because then you have like rainbow colors and stuff, and I don't really have no rainbow hair, so I don't know how that falls. In what category? That might be WF2. So, but you always want to kind of know how to, at least where it's located, color, style. Every wig has a color, of course, and a style. I found that it's better to keep them, like, not on a mannequin head, to keep them closed so that they last longer. You're going to need some kind of shine, something that you can put in your hair that's oil-free, lightweight, that smells great, that will make your synthetics and your human hair just kind of come back to life. I put a little bit of that in here in this to try it out. Weight cap is very important. The flatter you have your hair and the more secured under your wig cap that needs to be around this color because this resembles scalp closer to anything else, the better it's going to look. So it's you're basically making like a ball cap. This is fucking magician work at his finest here. Like, I, I love creating a new person every time I do the hair. I'm mean, like, oh, shit. And I'd be thinking, I was like, if I was born like this, be pretty badass. But I'm not, and I'm glad, because I would get tired of it. It's worth it. That's why I'm sharing game, because join me. Wig Nation. People are going to want to know what you look like under your wig, but some things are meant to keep private. Jesse knows what I look like under my wig. Will knows what I look like under my wig. My dogs know. My cat knows. And that's all it needs to know. Before I take it off, 
See, sometimes I don't. I start up here too. Act like it's real hair. Before I take it off, I'm gonna brush it really good because I am gonna wash it, condition it, let it dry, and put it up. I'm not gonna throw it away because it's a beautiful color, and it didn't do me dirty. I just appreciate. I will give the hair company a shout out for making good wigs. Greetings, greetings, and welcome back. I'm just doing some finishing touches before I get up on this camera. And, um, of course, I have a different wig now. Yes, I'm living my crazy life. Um, I'm doing, I'm gonna get dressed, so I'll kind of walk you along with what I have to deal with when I'm getting dressed. So this is me down. I've gotten a lot of people like it, you know, but of course they would <laughs> in a sense. My job is not for likes. It's to fucking expand boundaries. Test that shit. So with um, weaves and wigs, you will have shedding. Unless that motherfucker is top of the line, you will have shedding. And you will have to keep this shedding under control. So, oopsie. You don't want to fight with it too much. You just kind of... And then I have like a little spray bottle of water. Bear with me. I'll reach for that. And I spray her with. So she's a little bit more manageable, a little bit more soft. Quenches some thirst. Thirsty hair. And as I do that, I kind of pull the shedding. Good morning. It is Monday. It's the next day. I got a little footage from last night, but I'll, I'll put it in. I'll insert it in. Right? Okay, we just finished watching a movie, Us. And it was pretty good. Except that the ending was kind of a little complicated. You kind of have to YouTube it a little bit to see exactly what the director was trying to get across. But, overall, just like when you wear wigs, extensions, etc., it was, I'm glad we did it. I'm glad we went to go see it. So, right now, um, I wish I had a ponytail holder because I really want to get this shit off of me. Right now, it's up a little tired. Now that you've seen that, you can tell how damn sleepy I was in that last clip. So I ended up coming home, taking my makeup off with makeup wipes and just wrapping my hair with this right here and going to bed. So in return, I look like who did it and why. So when this happens, this is the probably the quickest and easiest way to wrap up your wig and stuff. I don't like it. I don't like hair on my ears, so I have to I put mine up in a bun. This is also effective if you're with people that you don't know. You know, it kind of hides the problem areas. I'm going to show you a little bit here of me not being perfect. So this is the the wrap thing here. It's like a long thing and it's great. It works really good for laying laying the sides, keeping them down. So I know on one of my sides I'm probably like coming up a little bit, but that's the price you pay when you go to bed like this. So this is what I would say is a no-no. But when it's necessary, it's necessary. It's quick and easy. So remember that little long black thing? A shower cap and probably a bonnet. Those are things that will preserve. You know, like this is not going to preserve my wig. That's why some people are like, I put it on my and sleep with hair like this. And yeah, and there's a fire, they're going to fucking shoot you for looking like a plucked chicken running out the house. Just saying. I was, somebody going to rescue me. They're going to be like, look at that. Oh, beautiful long hair going to burn. Smell like plastic too. No, anyways, I'm jumping around. But yes, so keep that in mind. And I'm going to go take a shower and probably do a face mask and wrap my hair the right way. And I'm back. Um, I took a shower and stuff and I'm trying to fix up those that little spot that kept coming up right here. So usually I have like a rat tail. This is also very key when doing hair. 
because you this end can be used to apply like your gel and you know just kind of when you can't touch stuff you can touch it because our fingers have oils in them and sometimes the oils react with the stuff and you know causes crust so to kind of avoid that you know of course you have to let things dry too a rat tail so these are definitely key I can just wear it one way and that's like down or to the side that's okay but I get tired of that quick so if I can wear it to the side down the middle pull it up to me that's a good wig and if it doesn't look like dreadlocks at the end of it okay I am officially done and this is how I'm rocking the day how I'm coming it's Monday so I'm trying to bring the sunshine can you feel me can you feel me um hope you enjoyed the video and if you like this video let me know and we can you know always swing a little something something a little work a little deal <laughs> you're not scratch like that but we can always do something you know so um peace and i'll see you in the next video